Hello everybody and welcome back to Stealing 33 Plays The Darkest Dungeon. I am Stealing 33 and today, ladies and gentlemen, today we are on a mission for some fucking portraits. Um, I need three more portraits in order to upgrade the blacksmith uh, to make it also give me um, to make it also give me uh, what's it called? Brain. Find the words you're looking for and do them uh to make it give me weapons i want to upgrade my weapons uh it's high on my list of things that i want to do and uh i kind of I, I, it's, it's what i want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna take a weird team because we're probably gonna take like a me like a short mission again um and we're gonna take the the bounty hunter who prefers the second position so i should put him there and i'll put you in the first position uh, and then we're gonna take, uh, probably this new, uh, Jester along with. And this Jester is one of the, is like the almost perfect one. The only thing I would like is, uh, I like Harvest more than I like Slice Off. Um, and, uh, we're gonna go in again with the Antiquarian. We're just trying, I wanna make up a bunch of money to try to, like, fix what's going on. Like, we're not doing too bad right now, but it's not great. Um, and I guess we'll go, we're going to the Warrens again. Uh, ooh, actually, I think I want to bring a Plague Doctor if we're going to go to the Warrens. Yeah, we're going to bring a Plague Doctor. Just because I want to be able to cure Blight. Um, this place has a ton of Blight and a ton of Bleed. Uh, so we're going to go with this team. We'll see if it works. I like the Abomination. He's one of my favorite types of characters. Um, because, uh, he's a little bit more interesting. I know he's not, like, particularly very good. Um, but, you know, it's still interesting and fun to do. All right, so we spent about 4K. We're going to get about 4K out of the mission. So, um, worst case scenario, it'll be about a break even for us right now. Um, I didn't take any holy water because that's not really what we need in this place. There are, there, there are obviously, there's always altars. There's always shrines. There's always things like that. Uh, it's explore 80% of rooms. Fuck. We're going to have to double back either way. So let's go this way. The double back period will be shorter this way if we go like this. So, uh, let's have the Antiquarian interact with it. Put the shell, the, the torch on there. Good. Gold good, good, good. Minor artifact. Paid for Worth it. money in bunches. All right, let's pop torch. Nope. All right, we don't need to do that. Thank God I didn't do it. Scout chance is good. There's a curio, a trap. It's looking like we picked a good direction. Um, it looks like there's tons of curios on this way. Lots of free torches, which is fantastic. Um, very happy about this. Oh, and we got this fucking cra crazy statue. Uh, the statues are fantastic. Uh, oh, thank God that this thing stopped me. 70, 80. Let's do the 80%. There you go. Because I would have walked right over that. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, we're doing all right. Having the Antiquarian on our team helps a lot. Um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, the main thing is that, like, she's not terrible, to be honest. Um, let's put this on that. No? Okay, how about this? And purpose is made clear. Cut out some notable pages. There we go. Oh, we got a poem. We got a poem and a, and a journal page. What's it say? It was an, I was unfortunate enough to have my arm in the grip of one of these beasts. As soon as, it, as, as I stood, expending all of my fear-driven energy trying to saw it off with my dirk, our mysterious masked florin cleaved the creature in half in one swing. With his strength, he certainly is the nobility in the group. All right, Maester, good work. Hey, look at that. The poem apparently cures, uh, cures stress. I didn't know that. Well, now we know. Learned something today. Apparently using the knife on the books gives us a journal page, which is actually worth 500 gold, I found out. Um, I didn't know if that was just, like, it, like, had to have a value attached to it or something like that, but, um, yeah, I learned that today. Let's do this. No? Okay, let's do this. No? Okay, let's do that. Nope. Okay, touch it. Shit. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out more and more about the curio interactions. Um, and, like, I feel bad because we wasted, like, a shovel and stuff like that on it. But, um, the way I figured it... Oh, shit. Okay, wait. So, what can you... What do you do? Okay, so let's actually... Let's use Absolution to heal ourselves a little bit. And that gives a little bit of stress relief, which is nice. 
Um, I really need to sit down and, like, once we have, like, a decent amount of money, I really need to make, like, an effort to try to, like, upgrade our character's abilities. Not just buy new ones, but actually upgrade the ones that we do have. Um, let's do this on... Can you hit... No, okay, so it's gotta be one of the first two targets. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll do, uh, collect bounty on that guy, I guess. And we'll do emboldening vapors on you. Rend for the old gods. I'm glad I did emboldening vapors because that protected him a little bit. Or no, I guess it's just damage. Um, and then we'll do this. Fabulous. With a good clean feeling, no matter what. Good. And then we'll hit this guy right in the face. Ooh! <laughs> nice. Um, good, 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 good. So I need to move our uh, abomination forward. And then we need to heal him a little bit. We'll probably just try to use battlefield medicine on him, but I guess we can't do that. So let's 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 shuffle him backward because I want I need to be able to use battlefield medicine is like really important right now. Um, and then we'll shuffle him forward. There we go and we'll shuffle you backward. There we go. All right, kind of a waste of turn, but also not not too bad to be honest. Um, Let's do this. We'll mark, we'll mark and then we'll hit again. Because um, we're actually not doing too, too bad right now. Uh, we'll do Beast Vile to get them blighted up. Blighted up, 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 blighted up. Uh, the Beast Vile is good because it's an AoE blight, right? Um, same sort of rules apply as like, with the Plague Grenade and stuff. Uh, we'll do Battlefield Medicine on you because your bleed's really bad because it was from that Curio interaction. And it also cured himself. Fabulous. Shuffle and incantation's not great. Uh, the stress is going to get kind of nutty after a little while here. Um, so let's do... Let's do this again. Keep them hitting the... Uh, hitting our bounty hunter, hopefully. Because uh, he's just... He got the most defense out of everybody. Um, it seems like a good idea to me. We'll do Absolution again. That moves him back, which sucks, but it also does a stress relief on him, which is good. That's that's the devastating attack, man. Simply devastating. I'll just keep lobbing the lob plague grenades at these guys. A lot of our stress relief is going to come from trying to do the campfire. Um, I'm just hoping that we don't accidentally have a break before we actually get the chance to do the campfire, because that will be annoying. Very cool. There we go. Hey, some sapphires. Delicious delicious all right not so bad let's uh switch you guys around so that he can actually do stuff on the first turn yeah this is kind of we're kind of stuck like this for a little bit here three torches for that and the last room all right the backpedaling is going to be really annoying um but at the end of the day it's also kind of fine we'll use our last shovel here i guess and it sucks that it's our last shovel, but I had to check. I had to see if maybe hitting it with the... I thought maybe hitting the knives with the shovel would knock them off and we'd be able to, like, I don't know, loot something out of it. You know how it is. Like, it's it's sort of just the way of the, the name of the game with Darkest Dungeon is you gotta try. If you don't interact with the curios, the curios are where, like, a lot of the benefit from the dungeons comes in. Because the battles and the treasure are great. The battles are overtly negative, right? There's not really a lot of, like... There's not really a lot of ways around it. They're just overtly negative. Um, the the treasure is half and half. It's 50-50, negative, positive. So we're already at like 200% negative, right? So it, it's sort of a matter of you got to take your chances on the curio because it might be like a 50-50 shot, but you got to take – it's like gambling. You got to take your advantage where you can, you know? And uh, that's what I was trying to do, but – it's it's not it hasn't been great, but that's not so bad. The stress is getting kind of bad here. There's a room battle that popped up. That sucks. That's the problem with backtracking is that sometimes you end up with an extra room battle that you weren't expecting, um, which can be bad. That can be bad. Um, what's your blight resistance? Only thirty. Let's blight this guy. He resisted it. Okay. Uh, we'll do this and blight both of them. Hopefully, that's a dodge and another resist. Fabulous! I love it. I love it when this happens. This is my favorite thing in the whole universe right now. Um, and we'll do protect me on the bounty hunter. Good. 
A little bit of guard. Hook it where it hurts. Ah, that's bad. Bad, but not terrible. The vom's bad because of the diseases. The diseases and the stresses. That's bad because it might be a stun. It's a knockback and a stun. Not great. Not great at all. That's a good miss, though. Highly beneficial. Let's go ahead and heal... Uh, let's heal the Abomination. And then we're going to do Absolution on the Abomination. To back him up a little bit and get the Stress Heal. It feels bad to be doing it like that, but... Um, I, like, so the reason, the Abomination's really good when you're able to transform, but the stress is too nuts for us to, like, really afford to do that right now. Um, so I'm having difficulty trying to, like, you know, tell myself that, yeah, we should totally do this. Um, this team might also just be bad. Like, that's also a, a distinct possibility. The Vom's bad. On the bright side, it doesn't do damage, which is good. On the downside, it does cause a pretty decent amount of stress. I mean, I'll be honest, this would stress me out. Like, normally, normally I think these guys are kind of babies. Uh, windy baby pantses. But, like, this is one of those situations where, like... Yeah, that makes sense. That, that, they're they're kind of scary. Um, they're like horrible pig monsters. Like, it's not... This is not, like... Fucking happy day here. Let's do collect bounty. The nine damage isn't bad. We need to kill this guy really badly, though, because the vomiting is... It's too much. Um, it's just too much. The disease resistance is great. Let's heal you. The problem is that, like, Battlefield Medicine heals like garbage. Like, if it's upgraded, I know it heals for two when you upgrade it. Uh, which is also part of the reason why I really need to, like, get the upgrades going on these things. Like, we're just, it's just not going well. Ah, oh, God. On the bright side, I'm pretty sure the Plague Doctor gets to go, well, okay, never mind, apparently I'm fucking wrong. Do this. That's a bad dodge. It's bad. Uh, Battlefield Medicine again. Akira's Bleed. Like, we just gotta keep stacking uh, heals on him for right now. Because he's gonna die otherwise. Although, honestly, if he dies, it's not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. He's like a level zero guy. Um, it will mean we'll have to probably abandon the mission here, but, you know, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that bad. Um, that's not the kind of thing that I'm gonna, like, reset the run for. Um, the reduction in stress damage is good. Let's kill this guy, finally. We gotta get rid of these corpses, somehow. Um, but I don't have disorienting blast equipped, because I'm stupid. I really need to remember to unlock that on the on Montgomery. Um, it clears corpses, which is why I need it. Um, because you could throw it and it would clear all these corpses and we would be fine. But, uh, I don't have the ability to do that. So we're gonna try to stun this guy. Perfect. That stun's kind of big, actually. It gives us a turn. Putrefy's not great, but luckily hit the Plague Doctor, so he's resistant to that stuff anyway. Um. I guess we'll just heal. That's the plan right now, is just heal. Ugh. Not great. Not great. Do this. Good. Do this. Good. Uh, and then we'll do this. That crit's great. Yes! A little bit of, little bit of st uh, stress healing's not bad either. Rod is a heal on itself, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Putrefy, probably. Yeah, that's not great. Resistant. Get hit by it. Uh, dith dysthymia? Dithymia? No idea. That crit's great. Hit him. Stun him. Stun him good. Got a couple of dollars. Dollar ain't enough. That was rough. This team's not very great at killing stuff. Uh, I am noticing. I don't want to leave because, like... Oh, the hunger tiles are brutal. Um, I don't want to leave because, like... Like, I don't want to just, like, abandon Thread and get out of here. Um, but I, like, I'm not liking this team very much. Um, we could burn it, right? No? Okay, just open it. Hey, like another one. Just open it. The modification process was poorly done! Resisted it. Alright, cool. Not bad. Running low on torches. Um, running around in the dark is kind of scary. It's not a death sentence, but it is 
bad. Um, like, demonstrably bad. The plague grenade, the back line. Hopefully they get blighted. They did not. 30% blight resistance. You, I, like, I'm not imagining, like, okay, so these guys can't actually get hurt by blight, right? But 40%'s not that bad. Like, I feel like that should be something that, like, it should be okay. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and turn into a monster here, because this I am, uh, I'm a little nervous about this. And we're gonna do fucking rake against these two guys to apply some bleed. Hopefully. Nope, didn't do that. But, uh, we might be able to kill one of them now. Good. Good, good, good. And then we'll do this. Evolved. Not great. Not great. Uh, calloused encouragement. Alright, cool. Oh, we killed the one that regenerated, so that's actually pretty good. Ooh! Not great! We really need to fix that. He's gonna get, uh, he's gonna get broken here. Fearful, so not fantastic. Fear and frailty. Finally Come on, heroic. Hopeless. Awesome. I'm glad he transformed back, I guess. Um, yeah, that's not great. Double, double breakage on this team isn't great. No, no! Um, we might actually see our first heart attack, because we're gonna keep going, like, it... The only one I care about is Montgomery, to be honest. That's because Montgomery is like our best plague doctor right now, and I care about our antiquarian, because um, it's a uh, it's pretty good. Heart attack, it's not great. We can try to cure him a little bit by doing absolution over and over again. Um, but it's not it's not a good idea. Can you? Can I not? Okay, fine. Whatever. I probably should have done that on the, um... Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Apparently it's a non-problem. Oh, come on, Montgomery. First of many heroes has died. Montgomery is abusive. Abusive's not great because it makes him cause other people stress. Ergotism. Ergotism? What's that one? I don't remember what that one is. I feel like we've seen it before. Not great. The Black Plague. Oh, that's really not great. Drums of Doom. Super not good, man. Super not good. No, because if we retreat, we're gonna take they're gonna take a bunch of stress damage. And that's counter to what it is that I need to do right now. Um, so let's go ahead and just cut one of these down, I guess. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll do that on you. Putrefy is not great. Alright. We gotta, like, bring these two closer to us so I can hit them. Bring them closer so I can hit them with my stick. Montgomery's gonna need to go to the fucking doctor after this, apparently. You piece of shit. Okay. Um, on the bright side, you can do the hook thing. So let's do the hook thing. Drums of doom! Doom! Not great. We're really not doing so hot. This team's not very... That team... Was not very good. I will admit that. I learned something today. On the bright side. Fucking goddamn it. Who'd have thought that bringing the Antiquarian would make us make our team a little bit harder? The Antiquarian doesn't really do anything is the problem, right? So, like, muscular dystrophy. Jesus. It's like a super brutal disease to get. Like, actually, like, real life, that's, like, really brutal. Ugh. Terrible, but that's okay. Well, we're gonna get out of here before Montgomery has a fucking heart attack and dies. God damn it! Stop fucking being an asshole. Just shut up. All right, now we're leaving. The sin is not in being outmatched, but in failing to recognize it. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Yep, abandon quest. Regroup, reassemble. Evil is timeless after all. Like, super not great. Because I need to take... Like, we just lost, like, a shit ton of money. Tonight, the fools make merry. Tomorrow, they die laughing. An idle jester gains one, uh, level. So I guess we'll leave both of our jesters behind on the next episode. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Uh, our, our uh, Vestal's still missing. 
I don't I don't know what to do here. Houndmaster's good, Hellion's good. His faithful beast. A bond forged by battle and bloodshed. You know, I just don't know I don't know if I really like want to have uh these guys. Let's dismiss you. Get out of here. Become vestigial. Useless. Okay. We're going to probably have to like, just leave these guys here for right now. Uh, I don't have the money to fix them at the moment. Um, so we're going to have to figure out what to do about this on the next episode. Uh, for now, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Darkest Dungeon is really kicking my ass lately, which isn't great, but what am I going to do? Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. It helps the channel grow. helps me out a great deal. Uh, but, of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!